Well, welcome back. It seems a little odd to be asking you just normal fight questions because we asked them all last week. So I'm just going to ask you some different ones. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about the last few weeks? What's been going through your mind? At what point did you know this fight was going to happen now? Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Sorry. Um, okay. The last couple of weeks was really business as usual. Uh, we did what we were going to do anyway, which was go straight back to training. So that's what we did. You know, uh, I think after we went through negotiations and stuff, I think I probably signed Thursday, Friday, maybe. I don't know. But either way, we was already ready anyway. We kept training. Is there any... I mean, obviously, there's a difference now. You're not the main event. You're not going to be fighting in Apex. So there's some good and some bad to this happening. What are you kind of focusing on, or do you think about that at all? Um, I don't honestly. I honestly don't think about it. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's neat to be somewhere else, and I, I think this is a new place that we're going to. But I don't. I don't put all my focus in that. That cage is the same. Where there's in there, right here, right here. It don't matter to me. It's me a dude that I can hit and a dude that I'm not allowed to hit. So wherever you put that, we're good. Is there any um, pressure off of you at all? Or I don't know if there was pressure last time, but be not being the main event, you don't have to carry the whole card. You can kind of come in and fight less rounds, that, uh, less pressure? Um, I don't think so. Even if it was, I like it. But... Um, if it was, I'm, I'm probably just used to it because I've always been main event. So even coming up from amateurs to <laughs> uh, even from um, amateurs to coming up through the regional circuit, the LFA and all that stuff, I was this is nothing new. So it didn't matter. It's all the same. Like I said. And you said that, you know, you went just right back into training, but do you, with two weeks, I mean, do you try and learn anything new? Do you just kind of keep, keep out? I was already ready, and I'm still ready. I'm actually, I'm actually doing better now than I felt going into that week, and I felt pretty damn good, but there were some nagging stuff that I needed that two weeks, so we are good. So this is a positive thing. You're in a much better mood than the last time we saw you. Oh, yeah, for sure. And even then, well, last time you saw me, I was... That's I was, okay. Yeah, let's, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, what about catch weight? Is that, I mean, it just feels like everything seems like it's working out better. You've got the fans now. You're going to not have to cut weight again. You, you have less pressure. Is there, you know, you're saying the two weeks. Is this catch weight a good thing? Um... It could be and it can't. So that's the part of why I said we was going through the negotiations trying to figure out what was the best move to make. And from what we saw or what we thought, it was do it back at 205, which we could, uh, or uh, we already made weight and make sure that all parties involved show up. So, you know, we, we settled at 215. Were you paid for your last fight or your last appearance or were you compensated in this? I was, I was, I was compensated. Yeah. Um, what about the fear of it happening again? Is that, is that fear in place or do you feel like he's ready as well? I mean, I don't really give a fuck. I just know I'll be taken care of if he's chill up or not. And either way I'll be ready and I'll be back at work Monday. So it is all good. And my last question, was there any discussion between the two of you after that? Did he offer any apology or explanation or anything? Um, it was kind of hard being that there is a, a language barrier. Um, but I did want to go in and check in and let him know that, yo, it wasn't like I was I was cussing and fussing, you know. Uh, but it was really because I didn't want to let my team down. Like my coaches put so much into me, like even now having Mike Skacher here and he owns his gym in Dallas and he had to take away from that to, to be here with me. Like, I'm just ready to perform, and I've always been. And I just let them know that, like, I've been there. Like, I, I was sick for fights before that 
you know, I probably shouldn't have took, but it, it is what it is. So I, I don't fault him for that. I honestly didn't even know we were allowed to do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> so <laughs> that, 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 that works out, I guess. I don't know. What's up, Nobody Ryan? told you they had, you have sick days in the UFC? You get three of them. Uh, see, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I honestly, one of them fights on my record probably wouldn't have been there if I didn't know. What's up, Ryan? Hey, I just have to ask you, do you think fighting at 215, is that a little bit better for you? I mean, you're both weighing the same, but is that, is that somewhat of an advantage to you? Do you like being a little bit heavier coming in, or do you see it as not an advantage or a disadvantage for either guy? Um, I, don't, I don't think too much into it. Uh, we were already pretty close to, we're still fucking close to weight. Like, I've been walking, I didn't get too big, and we've been focusing on not getting too big anyway. Like I said, we could have made 205, and honestly, we still can if, if that option was on the table. But by the time we did all the work, we was kind of stuck with the number that we got. And then what about three rounds versus five? Are you one of those fighters who changes your strategy based on the shorter fight? Do you still go in with the same game plan that you had for the five-round fight? Um... When you look at fights and times and stuff, like all of that adds up and all that makes a difference. A five round fight is gonna be a lot different than a three round fight. A five round fight is gonna be a slower pace because you know you have to go five rounds if you know they can make it through. Three rounds, knowing that I can go five, I can go a little faster. So we'll see, we'll see. And last one for me, are you just that little bit stronger without having to go through the last bit of that weight cut? I'm already strong as shit. So whether people know it or realize it or not, it, I probably, like, damn, I probably shouldn't have admitted it. In, but <laughs> is that my fault? My, my bad, it's snack time, so. Uh, what was I saying? There's a benefit of not having to weigh a 205. Oh, yeah, no, uh, it don't matter. Snacking. Yeah, like, I can, still make, I can still make 205 right now if I want to, even with my snack and stuff. Like, we're doing everything that we needed to do, and we – Putting 100% investment into myself, you know, so to stay ready, which is why I was saying I'll be back Monday, which, you know, well, I'll be in Memphis, but I'll be back working. Hey, Thank Ryan. you. Um, I just wanted your thoughts on your teammate Jeff Neal's performance last Saturday. He, he went to war. I just wanted to, uh, your, just your thoughts on it. Yo, first of all, that's a tough move. Yeah. <laughs> so... I got, I, and I, I'm not, I'm not surprised that, the, like, I, I saw the lands and all that. But me and Jeff have been at it a few times, and it ain't no way dude can hit him as hard as I hit him. So, it, like, it really don't surprise me. But goodness, that was a wonderful fight, right? I know it's great. I mean, we didn't get, we didn't get the result that we wanted. But looking at it, we know, we know. I mean, obviously, you've been training with Jeff, and you've been sparring with him for many, many years. So was it any surprise that, like, he was able to take that much punishment? The thing is, um, Jeff has always been, he's always been that rough and tumble, tumble guy. You know, a lot of people just don't get to see him out, you know, too much. But, you know, Jeff, Jeff is tough, and I, I damn sure test it a lot. So. <laughs> um, and then finally, I just wanted your thoughts on John Jones, his performance. You're a big dude. He's a big dude. Just were you surprised at his dominance and just like what he looked like? I don't understand what me being a big dude and him being it's a big just, dude got to do with. Just you're you're a, you're you're a big 205er. He was always a big 205er. So I just wanted to know, like, but he's a heavyweight now, right? But so just as as a big 205er, seeing another big 205er go up to heavyweight, what what were your thoughts on his heavy, heavyweight debut? I mean, it was impressive. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Um, I know you didn't want to talk too much about the last time we saw you, but I do want to say thank you for coming in and, and doing that. There's not a lot of human beings out there that know what you guys go through, um, you know, the emotions leading up to the fight and then actually going into the fight and having it canceled like that. So that was, I mean, a lot of respect coming for me for coming in here and talking to us about that. So I just want to know, um, a lot of people out there see you as Ryan Spann, the athlete, but how is Ryan Spann, the man, doing right now? I don't know, because, I mean, honestly, I don't know if I want people to know Ryan Spann, the man. 
Like, cause I honestly like to be to myself. Don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. Like, we can laugh and joke or whatever, but when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. I don't really, I don't know. I, I just like to be with my family. Appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. Just one, what, I know eventually you want to go up to heavyweight. My man. What weight are you think that you, what weight do you think you will fight when you do make the jump to, to heavyweight? Um, that's, that's on that man over there, Mike Scacia and Eric Pena. I just kind of, I'm a mercenary, bro. I do, what I, I do what I'm supposed to do. You pay me, I show up and do it and take out whoever it is you need me to take out. So uh, whatever we come up with, weight, we're in, it's probably more so we'll test it to see where I feel best, you know, in my new body. Like my old body, I can get pretty big. And then it's a chunky big. So it's going to be different by the time if we move up. It'd be different because uh, I could just be out when Kennedy is ready. So yeah. we'll see. We'll figure it out. Awesome. Best of luck. That's a ginormous cooler. <laughs> big cooler for a big man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Good luck this weekend. Thank you.